Have you ever thought of re-gripping your own golf clubs? Let's crack on. I'm going to be using household items. So these are not the typical items that you would use in a pro shop, but they're what you guys might have in your garage or what you'd find easy to go and buy from a hardware shop. So we've got some white spirit, we've got a grip, a Stanley knife, a beaker, some double sided tape and masking tape. So just before we start to remove the grip, we're just going to do a little bit of preparation and that's what we've got the double sided tape for. Um, so we're just going to peel a little bit of this off, just enough that we can sort of wrap around the entire shaft. So as you can see we've got a new grip, we've gone for the Golf Pride Tour Wrap. If you put that alongside the multi-compound, it is just fractionally longer, okay. So I'm just going to mark where I would like that new grip to come to because when you're putting grips on sometimes by accident you might not get the grip all the way to the end you know you might end up with a little bit you know or hanging over at the top or possibly you could stretch the grip and put it on a little bit too much you know put if you, if you put your double sided tape on too low on the club you could end up potentially stretching your grip so I just like to mark out roughly where the, where the grip should sort of come to on the shaft and that'll make it a lot easier then when you start to put your double sided tape on to make sure you don't make, you know you don't put it too far down the shaft so now we've done that we're going to cut the grip off now you know if you was working in a pro shop and you, you know you or you were you had the time to go and buy your a Stella knife that's not in the guys you would get a hook blade but for this you know we're in lockdown and I'm trying to keep everyone occupied doing bits and pieces you know it can get a bit boring so this is just a typical household item what you would find at home so you will need to be extra cautious and careful with this and make sure you you're cutting away from yourself now you do want need to be very careful and gentle with this don't sort of put too much pressure on so if we start by trying to make a straight line from the bottom but sort of use your feel to make sure you don't go through the entire grip so we're just making a line to start with I would say it's sort of gone about 25% into the grip and then we're just going to go over that line again gently and try to just sort of get a little bit closer we're not we're not trying to get through the entire grip here we're just making a little bit of a indentation I want to get to sort of round about 80% so I'm just I don't want to feel that shaft so we're going down and I'm just once off I think I'm about sort of eight I'm not angling it down into the shaft I'm angling it pretty square so 90 degrees to the shaft and I'm just going along being extra cautious not to, to scratch that shaft so I feel now that I'm roughly about sort of 80 85% of the way through so if I just show you this we've got like a little bit of a line here I can almost just peel it back see that's just broken it now so starting from the bottom I'm going to just peel it back and then once you've got that bit because you've done the hard work with the cutting it, it weren't the entire way through you can just pull that off alright so looking at that this tape now is left in very, very good condition. All right, we've not damaged that tape by, um, you know, going too deeply and, and, and taking the shaft. So we're in quite a good condition there. Now, I did want, I did want to have an extra layer of tape on this. So I've left that in such good condition. I don't really need to remove it. Um, but I think for the purpose of this, we will take the tape off because it won't just be, it's not just for for my benefit this is for yours as well you might only want one layer of tape so again you know you've got to be very light here don't angle it down into the shaft angle it and just indentation so listen to that sound it's just cutting through the tape very lightly and away from yourself and then the same as we did with the grip now this will be a little bit more fiddly all right and uh, you just got to have a little bit more patience with this but let's get all that tape off 
Right, so now we've uh, we've prepped the shaft, we've got the entirety of the tape off and we've got the prep here so we know how much we need to put on now double sided tape. So I'm gonna, I want you to make sure there's enough just to cover the entirety of that shaft there and then you've got some to overhang. Let's try and overhang it around about an inch at the end. All right, inch, you know, even if you take an inch and a half, it's not that, you know, it's not that important because that bit's going to come in useful. So starting where we've placed the masking tape. And I'm using tape, it's roughly about two and a half inches thick and I think this is really, really good for people who are new to regripping rather than using the spiral tape, which is, you know, quite difficult if, you, if you're not used to that, applying it. So let's get that on. It's really important you don't get any bubbles in here, so apply some pressure with your hand and just go all the way around. That's it, that's gone on really nicely. And we've got probably a little bit more than I would want there, just sort of tear that off. So I just want an inch to an inch and a half overhanging. And then we're gonna peel this off. So just it should just overlap and stick together there. And then once we get to the end, we're just gonna bunch that up so it sticks together and then we're just going to put this in the end here and the reason we do this is so that when you um, when it's a rainy day or it's really wet is that any water that goes down that little hole at the top doesn't go down into your shaft all right and that's really important to protect your shaft from from rusting inside all right so now we've got this bit done we're going to just put a little bit of white spirit in our beaker That's it. Now, what's really important is if you're new to this, is don't sting with the with the white spirit. Make sure you put enough in there, okay? So I'd usually put when I'm doing them probably about a, feel like I'm putting about a centimeter to an inch in, all right. But for the purpose of this, we're going to do like one and a half inches, all right, to make sure there's enough lubricant in there. So that when we apply the grip, we've got plenty of time to get it on straight, okay? Because that's going to be the most difficult part if it's your first time re-gripping, okay? So we need to put the, your finger over the end of the hole at the bottom so it doesn't come out. And then we're just going to pour in what we feel is like about an inch and a half of a, a liquid. And then putting your finger in, shake it about. You don't want this on your skin too long, okay? So once you've done it, we need to, you know, wash wash your hands with soapy water because um, it will irritate your skin if you do if you, if you don't take it off there, okay? So now we've shook it about. We're just going to get the club, stick it into the beaker, and then we start by just pouring this. It should and spiralling the club as you're doing it so that it really does get all that double sided tape nice and wet. Okay, that's it. And just like that a little bit of excess drip into the beaker. Right, now it's nice and lubricated. This is the, the money making bit, okay. This is what splits the, the boys and the men. All right, so make sure your head's nice and square on the floor. You can lean it up to something if that helps. All right, and then using on the grip you've got a little mark at the bottom, a little alignment in the middle and there's an alignment at the top. So we've got plenty of spirit on here so this should be pretty easy just to slide on. Just applying a little bit of pressure. It's just going on. We've got the tape at the bottom as well as an indicator where we need to stop. That's gone on lovely actually. That's gone on lovely. And then just feel at the top here and give it a little, you know, make sure it's on the boat. And uh, what you can do if you're unsure is just pick it up and give it a good bump on the floor. That's it. And then one final check that that's lined up. It is. We've gone right to the end of the masking tape. We've not gone too far, so we've applied the grip correctly. And now all we need to do is, is leave that to set. So after six hours, this grip is feeling really solid. So we're just gonna take this masking tape off from earlier. 
And then to complete things, we're gonna clean this shaft. I can feel a bit of resin and stickiness on here. So we just need a dry cloth or some tissue and white spirit. We're just gonna give that a, a really good rub and then a bit of soapy water on the grip and you're ready to go.